Good evening. I'm going to ask you all a question. How many of you here, how many of you here are entrepreneurs? Can I see a show of hands? Can I see a show of hands? Fantastic, fantastic. So hopefully you will agree with a lot of what I'm about to say. First and foremost, huge, huge congratulations to my colleague Sunny Leong, Lord Leong, and also to Ibrahim Douglas for founding SME for Labour. For championing SMEs and business. Now I'm a crossbench peer, so I can say whatever I want to. And here goes. This morning, I chaired an event in Parliament for international students. And as a former international student myself, my blood was boiling. What is the current government doing with its hostile approach to immigration? Do you know, I said this morning, by the way, how many of you, how many of you, can you just, how many of you think that Brexit was a huge mistake and an act of self-inflicted harm? Can I just see a show of hands? Can I see a show of hands? Look at this. I asked this question around the world, around the world, international audiences here, domestic audiences, 99% of the hands go up. And do you know, it is the fear of immigration that was one of the main reasons for Brexit. And what is being created now is a fear of immigration. And I want to say this, in 2007, I fought in the House of Lords to get the two-year postgraduate work visa for international students. And it was a Labour government, and they listened, and we got the two-year postgraduate visa, for which all international students are really grateful. And do you know what happened after that? Theresa May took it away in 2012, and we had a hostile immigration approach again. It's been brought back in, but now we hear it's being reviewed and maybe taken away again. So why are the British people being fooled at the moment? 750,000 net migration figure. How many of you know that includes international students? International students should be excluded from the net migration figures. Why does the government keep including them? If you exclude international students from the net migration figures, that figure will come down from 750,000 and you won't scare people as much. Why? Why have we raised the threshold for workers from abroad from 26,000 pounds to nearly 40,000 pounds? That is an act of economic illiteracy. How can we do this? It's going to damage our economy. OK, all of you SMEs, entrepreneurs, how many of you are experiencing labor shortages of some sort? How many of you are experiencing labor shortages? Can I see a show of hands? How many of you experience? Yep, there we are. Every sector, agriculture, financial services, IT, health, labor shortages. Why can't we bring in the workforce that we require? Yes, we can skill them up but we also need to be able to bring in the workforce we require. We as businesses have survived a horrible time. How many of you think that taxes are too high? Can I see a show of hands? The highest tax burden in 70 years. How can we grow as businesses? How can we survive? How can we thrive? with the highest tax burden. Corporation tax up from 19% to 25%. High taxes stifle growth, and they stifle the recovery of our businesses. And do you know something? I will admit this as a cross-bench peer. The most business-friendly government in my three decades of business was the Tony Blair, Gordon Brown government. It was tax-friendly. We had top rate of income tax of 40%. We had capital gains tax at 18%. We had entrepreneurs relief at 10%. And here we have the highest tax burden in 70 years. So I want to conclude with this. I don't think we've got the right environment for growth. We've got low productivity and low growth. And yet, this is a country 
with great potential, a country that is trusted around the world and respected around the world. But how can people respect us when we have the infighting that's going on at the moment, when we have talk of breaking international law? How can we keep that trust going? So we have the strongest combination of hard and soft power in the world. And when it comes to hard power, look at our manufacturing sector. We're still a top 10 manufacturer in the world. With Cobra Beer, I boast with pride that Cobra Beer is manufactured mainly here in the United Kingdom, winning 146 gold medals, and I'm proud of that. Our automobile industry, our aerospace industry, our financial services, our defense, our armed forces, our Gurkhas, our special forces, our Royal Air Force, our Royal Navy, best of the best in the world. We have phenomenal hard power, although we make up less than 1% of the world's population. And yet we also have phenomenal soft power. I can proudly say our universities are the best in the world along with America. Four out of the top 10 universities in the world are British universities. 17 out of the top 100 are British universities, including the University of Birmingham, where I'm proud to be Chancellor. The BBC that gets attacked so much, the BBC is watched by 500, 500 million people around the world every week, watched and listened to and trusted. And the royal family, her wonderful Majesty the Queen and His Majesty the King, a great soft bar, and of course, Premier League football. What more soft bar can we ask for than that? So entrepreneurs in this room, I conclude, there is one word that sums us up. We have guts. We have the guts to do it in the first place, and we have the guts to stick with it when others would give up. So with all the challenges out there, with the horrible war in Ukraine, with the awful and tragic situation in Israel and Gaza, it's a very challenging outlook. Some people fail because of, others succeed in spite of. And in spite of all the challenges, all of us in this room will succeed. And when it comes to immigration, we would not be the sixth largest economy in the world without the 15% ethnic minorities in this country. And we should be grateful for the good immigration in this country. So thank you. Let us, let us, let us believe in ourselves. Let us believe in this great country. Because as Mahatma Gandhi said, your beliefs become your thoughts. Your thoughts become your words. Your words become your actions. Your actions become your habits. Your habits form your character. And your character determines your destiny. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.